Comic-Con. It's where nerds from all around the world come together in one giant melting pot of pop culture fandom. The fans show up in support of intellectual property that ranges from all different shapes and sizes. But Comic-Con is not just a Coachella for comic book fans, movie and TV enthusiasts alike, but it's also become a mandatory business trip and photo opportunity for some of the biggest celebrities around the world. It's one of the few places in the world where people who dress up and pretend to be fictional characters in their free time can collide with and interact with people who pretend to be fictional characters in their work time. And sometimes, when these two worlds collide, you might not be able to tell the difference. So it was 2019, and I was dispatched down to San Diego, or the city that we now know as... A whale's vagina to basically use my press credentials and try to gain information and try to get interviews and sound bites from as many celebrities as I possibly could. Comic-Con used to be this like really nerdy event, but now it's actually become this awesome celebration of pop culture and movies and TV where we can sort of all come together and celebrate the things that we've come to love that we see on our television every day because they've unified us. They've become part of our cultural zeitgeist in a way. It's something that's embedded into our DNA, and Comic-Con is a celebration of that. My Comic-Con on Friday was a huge success. I interviewed the cast of It Chapter 2. I interviewed the cast of Workaholics, I interviewed the cast of The Walking Dead, I interviewed Conan O'Brien, and I went all around and I got to go see some panels at Hall H in the convention center, which was really cool. But when I went to go cover Conan O'Brien, there was one celebrity that everybody was talking about. There was one celebrity that nobody could miss. And by the thumbnail and what the title of this video is, I'm betting you can guess it. It was none other than Maverick himself, Tom Cruise. You know, one of the amazing things about this is that Tom Cruise was at Comic-Con in 2019, and he was promoting Top Gun Maverick back in 2019 when the trailer came out. So he's been promoting this movie for three years before it was ever released because it was delayed by a little thing called Schmarona Schmiris. It's just amazing to think that I was there three years ago to this day, and still the movie had not come out until just a couple of months ago. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, I did not get an interview with Tom Cruise. It was just too difficult. There was no way of getting close to him. He was basically kept under tight wraps by his security. The only chance I actually got to see him was through his car window. I got to see, like, the silhouette, his shadow through the car window. That was to be expected. I wasn't really expecting to get an interview. As I said, I was covering the Conan O'Brien show. While I'm standing out there... Out of the corner of my eye, I see this guy in a leather jacket that looks just like Tom Cruise's Maverick costume from the movie Top Gun. I mean, this guy had it all. He had the leather jacket, he had the sunglasses, he had the slick back hair, he even had the voice. It was awesome. And because I knew I was not going to get an interview with Tom Cruise, I decided I would just film this guy for the fun of it. So this is what happened. Hey Tom, how's it going, man? Fantastic. Yourself? Hey, were you sad you didn't get a chance to meet your hero? Yeah. All good. <laughs> see, as you can see, the guy even sounds like Tom Cruise, which is pretty impressive. And out of all the people that I saw at Comic Con that are dressed up as people that they love, that are doing impersonations, that are doing cosplay, I genuinely think that this guy was the best because not only did he look like Tom Cruise, but he sounded like Tom Cruise. Bravo to you, sir. You deserve kudos. So fast forward to Sunday, which is the last day of Comic-Con, which is generally considered the slowest day of Comic-Con. But I decide that I'm going to stick around for a couple extra hours. Maybe I can get a few more clips. So I go to the convention center. I go see a couple of panels. And then as I'm walking back to check out of my hotel, I see this red Ferrari sitting outside of a bar, and there are a couple of people just walking by that start taking selfies into the window, and I'm wondering who it is. So I walk up to the car window, and would you believe it's the same Tom Cruise impersonator that I got on Friday? I didn't think anything of it, but as I'm walking away, I saw an opportunity. So what's funny is, is that on Friday, I knew that nobody actually believed that this guy was the real Tom Cruise because we were standing outside of Conan, and we all knew that the real Tom Cruise was inside being interviewed by Conan, but that was Friday. So here on Sunday, there's this Tom Cruise impersonator just randomly standing outside at the end of Comic-Con, 
and everybody knew he was in town. Everybody was buzzing. Everybody was talking about it. And so I'm thinking to myself, these people genuinely look like they might think this is the real Tom Cruise. It was just a vibe I got based on the way that these people were taking pictures into the window. It just seemed like they really believed it was him. So I thought to myself, this is a great opportunity and one that I cannot pass up. And when there's an opportunity for great content, as an American citizen, you cannot pass it up. It is against the law to pass up great opportunities for great content. So I literally and figuratively reached into my bag of tricks, pulled out my camera, and decided to play a little prank on the good people of Comic-Con. So I decide before I start recording, I would run up to the car, and you don't see this on camera, but I start sort of jogging up to the car, and I yell out loud, Oh my god, is that Tom Cruise? And I look around, and I see a couple people start staring, and then I pull out my camera, so people look at me, and then they look at the car, so they just automatically assume, Oh my god, this TMZ camera guy is about to film Tom Cruise. And so a few people run up to the car window. Now, to their credit, there are a few people who realize that it's just a fake Tom Cruise, but I do feel a little bad because there were definitely a few people who genuinely thought that they met the real Tom Cruise. So let's break down this video right now. Fake Tom Cruise dupes massive crowd at Comic-Con. So yeah, here's the guy, and then this was him on Friday, obviously. So here, let's play it out. So it's gonna start. Hey Tom, how you doing Tom? So, yeah, I've walked up to the window and I say, hey, how you doing Tom? And I'm sort of looking at the, at the people that are off camera. And you know, he's like shaking hands and kissing babies with all these uh, fans coming up to the window. This is the one I feel worst about because this girl that you're gonna see here at the beginning genuinely thought that she was going to go post a photo of herself with Tom Cruise on her Instagram. So watch what happens. <laughs> they think it's really Tom Cruise. I, God, I'm, I'm such an asshole. I'm even saying it out loud. They think it's really Tom Cruise. Look at this girl. She genuinely believes it. Look at this. They think it's really Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel a little bad about that. If you can't tell the difference when you're looking at this guy versus this guy, I mean, come on. So here I'm decided I'm going to go up and I'm going to film him and start asking questions about Top Gun because I feel like that gives more legitimacy to this prank that I'm pulling. But this is the best part of the video, hands down. So, so this impersonator is about to take a photo of me because I think he genuinely thinks that I think he's Tom Cruise. I think he thinks he's fooling me. But what he doesn't realize is that I'm sort of in on the joke with him right now, and we're fooling the other people. Are you happy with this sequel? How it's turned out so far? Okay. Really okay, so pay attention to this. Pay attention to this guy right here. He's taking a photo of his girlfriend right here. And it's not going to go well for this guy, because he's not close enough to get Tom Cruise in the shot. So watch how she reacts. They all think it's really Tom Cruise. That's hilarious. She gets so mad. She hits him. Look at this. She hits him because she's so mad. She pulls an Amber Heard on him. Watch this. Boom. Right on his arm. She's so mad. To their credit, only a few people actually fell for it. But guys, just take it from me. In this world of trying to get your videos to go viral, trying to get more outreach on your content. All it takes is just reaching one person. And if you can do that, then that person will share your story with somebody else and then it'll start to spread. That's how it goes viral, right? So all it takes is fooling, either fooling this girl or fooling this girl. That's all it takes to have a successful mission. Now look, it's just a harmless prank. These guys probably went home and posted these photos on their Instagram or their Twitter, and then their friends had to like look at their posts and say, "Is uh, who's gonna be the one to tell them, guys? Who's gonna be the one to tell them this is not the real Tom Cruise? Do I wish I had met the real Tom Cruise? Yes, of course. But in all reality, he probably would have just disappointed me. I feel like I'm happier filming this fake Tom Cruise impersonator than I would have been filming the real Tom Cruise because the real Tom Cruise is kind of just larger than life. You kind of want to keep the mystery alive. You, you kind of don't want people to uh, ruin your perception of them. Like, I already think he's kind of like a crazy weirdo Scientologist as it is. So why ruin the allure that he might actually disappoint me in some way? 
I'd rather just film this guy and play a prank on people because it's just better content than Tom Cruise just ignoring me or not answering my questions. So yeah, that's just a little story, a little fun that I had at the time that I covered Comic-Con. This is the perfect time to tell you guys that with Comic-Con here, it has just started on Thursday. I will be going to Comic-Con this Saturday to go and gather some clips, to interview some people, to show you guys a little bit of what I do from the field and bring you guys some more content. So if you guys want to see more content from Comic-Con and you have some ideas for me, please shoot them my way. I want to know what sort of questions do you want me asking people, whether they're celebrities or just random people in cosplay at Comic-Con. What sort of questions do you want answered? What sort of topics could I bring up? What sort of things can we talk about? I hope you guys enjoyed this little story from the field. I plan on doing more of these, so stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time.